Hey guys, welcome back to Disc Golf Examiner. Today I'm standing with Mike Souls, the TD of the 2017 Pocono Raceway Disc Golf Experience. How you doing, Mike? I'm good, man. How are you? I can't complain. It was a fantastic time out there. It was. It, we uh, we were able to go play disc golf all around the course, including the uh, the raceway back behind the grandstands, through the grandstands. It was fantastic. This year, we were able to uh, maximize the player experience and have two courses. One was the miniature golf disc golf experience behind the grandstands and through the grandstands. And then we used the uh, infield uh, north track as well as turn two and three mm -hmm. to uh, put a course on. So we had the compliments of like last year, but double the fun. Yeah, I know, it was it was great. So uh, Saturday we got to come and take place in the C tier here. Was this the first ever disc golf event held in a NASCAR? raceway i think that was the first pdj event ever held at a raceway um, i'm not sure about the experience itself with last year and this year mm -hmm. i know uh, because of last year's experience road america in wisconsin has an 18 hole golf course now oh okay so uh you know it's definitely percolated down through the you know racing and driving venues for disc golf you're inspiring other people to do this which is really cool how have you been over the last year what, anything new going on uh, I took a, I took a big chunk out of my schedule and cut back quite a bit. Uh, more involved with uh, things outside of disc golf and just enjoying my time away from disc golf. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, and I've enjoyed that time away. Uh, but when I had this event going on, you know, I had a lot of visions from last year that I already put in place. But I took the feedback and the criticisms from last year and tried to make this event that much better. And you really seem to have succeeded at that. I'm seeing a lot of people out there enjoying themselves. I'm hearing as we're going through the grandstand, you can hear everybody back there yelling and screaming and having a good time. So right, you know, last year was groups of five. This year we have groups as big as ten out there. One group of twelve, a super card, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, really, it was just about spreading the tee times apart, allowing more people out there. Uh, and we had two tee times going off at each time, but on different courses. Right. So really, we were able to get more people in and out quicker and not drag the day on for folks. Yeah, and I, I'm seeing people from all over. Have you heard any where people have come from? Uh, I know as far as Maine, Ohio, Maryland, Delaware, um, a lot of first timers, but just about everybody that was here last year wanted to come back and if they couldn't be here, they sent their sentiments about that. Yeah. Um, you guys especially, I mean, you guys were one of the first people that said to me last year, is this happening next year? Yeah. And the question wasn't, was not when, but when in the year was it happening? Um, I know with you guys out in Pittsburgh, you had the eighth year this year and you had a busy time. Mm -hmm. So uh, this fits the mold of enjoying the end of the disc golf season here in the Northeast before the doubles and team challenge season. Yeah. Well, it seems like you've put on a great event here today. I hope uh, people have told you how good of a TD you've been over the, this weekend and uh, show, your, show their support for you. Oh, they, they have. It's, yeah. it's, the feedback's been amazing. You know, having you know, Jeremy Rusco from DD, uh, Robert, the team manager, EMAC, the 2010 champ, and, of course, Bobby Brown out here, as well as the DDRV again. I mean, their support has been overwhelmingly great, and it really helps me uh, be able to grow this event every year. And the volunteer outreach I had this year was almost triple of last year. You know, uh, that was the part where we had people, volunteers out playing at nine this morning, coming in and we were shifting people all around. So everybody got to have fun this year. And I got to play 13 holes, so I was happy about nice. that. Yeah, how'd you do? I did well, I had six birdies. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. So I was having fun out there. Hit, you know, being the course designer, I knew what we were throwing to test the holes out and tried to emulate those same throws. Very cool. Well, hey, we appreciate you uh, taking the time to interview with us here today. I know you're crazy busy and you've been running around all day and you're probably beat, but uh, we really appreciate it. Well, thanks for guys for coming out. Absolutely. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that's Mike Solt, Mr. Disc Golf. Look him up online, mrdiscgolf.com. Yes, sir. All right. All right, guys, until next week, keep banging those chains.